Okay, this is gonna be a real short video. Uh, I'm gonna make a contact sheet, and I wanna show you the easiest way to do that. Um, this now depends, do you have 24 pictures? Are you looking at more pictures? A lot of people wonder how to select the photos to make the contact sheet. Um, selecting is, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Click. If you select one picture, hold down shift, select the last picture, it will select all in between. If you hold control and select, it will select um, you know, the non-continuous items. Okay, and you, you get a count down here. Look, I have 10 selected if you see my lower left. Uh, a lot of you just took like exactly 18 or 24 pictures. That can also be found in the previous import. Op Whoops, excuse me, oh, sorry. Um, previous import here. Notice I have 24 photos in my previous import. So I'm gonna just use these. Um, now, a lot of people, what happens if they, they'll select a photo and go to print. Okay, that will only give you one photograph. So it's highly advised to select all the photographs. I like to say control A, or if you had those multiple selections earlier, um, you don't need to do that because they're already selected. From here, once they're selected, click on the print option in the top. If you don't see that, it's because this little triangle probably needs to be clicked on. Okay, I'm gonna go to print. And look, now I have all my photos selected. Uh, now the challenge is to figure out over here on the right how to change your page grid and margins. There is a little uh, slider here, so sometimes people can hide all those good options. We're gonna go to the very top. So under layout, I want to choose, um, I think I figured out that it was six rows and four columns. Six rows, four columns. Um, also, previously I gave you wrong information about margins. I had you make the bottom margin bigger. I don't want you to do that. I want you to fill this space as well as you can. Um, if you don't like how they're rotated, you can uncheck rotate to fit, um, and you can see that one picture got rotated. So that's nice too. Um, well that's really it. If you have a nice grid here of 24, 20 to 24 photos, awesome. You are now ready to turn in a PDF of this. To do that, go to the printer option, not print, printer. And depending on the name of the printer, you really wanna make sure you're choosing Microsoft Print to PDF. This seems to be the most successful one. From here, I'll click OK. And it's gonna ask me, where do you wanna save this? Pay very close attention to where you are right now. I'm in my Documents folder. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna click Save. Well, I wanna name this. Uh, this one was called Mundane. Oh, my caps lock's on. Click Save. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Uh, please turn that PDF in. We are gonna mark this up with a pen. Later.